Hello foodies, welcome to Foodie Rules. Again in this episode of Foodie Rules, we are making paneer 65. This 65 is a type of snack version, not a Hyderabadi one. So we have took 250 grams of cottage cheese or paneer, whatever you call it. But I have cut into 1.5 centimeter cubes. So gently place them in the bowl. And try to use the fresh paneer as possible because fresh paneer gives you more great taste. And then we are going to add one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. I have used Kashmiri chili powder. And I have added some salt. In this recipe, I added half teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to add six tablespoons of all-purpose flour and four tablespoons of corn flour which is enough for this recipe and the ratio between the corn flour is three is to two that means if you add three spoons of all-purpose flour you need to add two teaspoons of corn flour add them and i'm going to add half tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste if ginger and garlic paste is not available you can also add ginger and garlic powder and i'm going to add half teaspoon of turmeric powder and half teaspoon of garam masala powder i'm so sorry guys i couldn't record that and gently mix them do not knead it if you knead it the panni get break and it will become a dough instead of becoming a battery substance Add water in intervals and mix it gently. Slowly, slowly mix it. Do not be fast at this point. The consistency of the batter should be as shown in the video. It should be like a gluey, gluteny substance like batter as shown in the video. When you are done, keep it aside for marinade. Meanwhile, we are going to make the slurry to thicken the sauce. So, I am going to add some water here. Oops! Can anybody clean this? Thank you. So, here I am going to add one teaspoon of corn flour. This is the regular corn flour which is used in making the soups. Totally mix the flour. Incorporate the flour totally into the water. Do not make any lumps in it. Mix it well till the, all lumps get incorporated in the water. Next, we are going to make the socks mix for a sauce. I took 4 tablespoons of ketchup. This is regular tomato ketchup. And I am going to add 1 and a half teaspoons of chili flakes. If you have uh, ginger powder, you can also add it. 1 teaspoon of soy sauce. And one tablespoon of chili vinegar. I have already said you this is not the Hyderabadi version of Pani 65. This is a snack version that means a collision of Chinese Indian recipe. I'm also going to add salt a little bit. And I'm going to add one and a half teaspoon of green chili sauce. If you have red chili sauce, you can also add it. Mix it well and your sauce mix is ready. Then we are going to fry the marinated panni pieces. So in a medium flamed oil, place your panni pieces one by one. Be careful because sometimes oil burns. When they become golden brown, remove it. And make the flame into high and we are going to double fry it till they become red in color. 
like this. If you correctly fry them, all the pieces will be will be get in three batches, the one, two, and three. See how crispy they are. And then in another pan, we are going to add two tablespoons of oil. Let them become hot and we are going to add some garlic chop. Chopped garlic or garlic chop, whatever we call it. And I'm also going to add chopped ginger. Let them become yellow in color. Then add half teaspoon of cumin seeds and half teaspoon of mustard seeds. Mix it well till all the flavors get blended. Then add 5 tablespoons of chopped onion. Here I used a medium sized onion which is correctly to 5 tablespoons. Mix it well till the onions little bit get sorted. Add 8 to 9 curry leaves at this point. And also 1 medium sized chili. And then add your sauce mix which we have made earlier and mix it. Cook all the vegetables in the sauce for 10 to 20 seconds. And then add your slurry and the one fourth cup of curd. The one fourth cup of curd eliminates the added of Ajinomoto. Turn off the flame and add your paneer pieces after 5 to 6 minutes. The garnish with some coriander leaves and that's it. It's yummy. Enjoy it. Please say your experiences in the comment section. If you like the video, like it. Also subscribe my channel for more videos like this.